Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we've got a little bit of an experiment here. So we've actually previously done a video on this subject a couple months ago with a PowerBoost F-150, uh, but we're back here again today with the all new F-150 Lightning. Basically, we're gonna utilize the Pro Power onboard system in the all new Ford F-150 Lightning. We're gonna max it out, plug in as many things as we can and see how much range we're gonna lose. Now this particular Lightning here is a 2023 Lariat model with the standard range battery. Now of course you can get the extended range, but this particular one here is the standard range version. And basically what we're going to do today is utilize the Pro Power onboard system that Ford puts in all of the brand new Lightnings. What we see back here is we have a bunch of sort of outlets back here, so we have a sort of a 240 volt 30 amp and we also have four additional 120 volt 20 amp circuits here just in the bed and if we look at the interior of the f-150 we also have additional outlets in here in the front of the cabin also in the rear just behind the center console now if we come around to the front end here with the front trunk we open up the front trunk here uh, we also do have additional outlets up here, uh, sort of similar to the one in the bed, but we do have, uh, we don't have the 240 volt up here. We have four 120 volt 20 amp plugs here in the front with some USB connectors as well. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna max the system out or as much as we can. We're gonna plug in a bunch of stuff. I have a bunch of stuff set out here and we're gonna figure out how much range uh, we will lose in a one hour test. Now we did this style of video with a gas powered F-150, the Power Boost, uh, which Ford offers the 7.2 kilowatt Pro Power onboard system, whereas this F-150 Lightning here, all electric, uses a 9.6 kilowatt Pro Power onboard system, which basically means we have 9,600 watts of total power we can use uh, from the sort of inverter system with the electric battery. Now if we go to the Pro Power onboard uh, sort of menu here in the settings and your massive sync for display here we have all your pro power on board system right here and uh, we'll click this little eye right here which will kind of give you an overview of what the system does now, this is a little bit different from the gas powered f-150 the power boost uh, where the front circuits are actually on their completely own thing whereas the ones in the bed are on uh, two split circuits and then the front one's sort of on its like own third circuit uh, whereas the power boost sort of uses just a and b now uh, this one technically kind of has like three uh, but it'll give you a quick overview of what the uh, system does here in the lightning so what I've basically done here is grabbed a heat gun, uh, which are very power hungry, plugged it into the front circuit, which again we do have 2.4 kilowatt max power uh, in the front and also with the interior cabin as well. So we have the heat gun set up right there. And then if we come around to the back end here, we have another sort of heater. Uh, we also have another sort of heater and then another heater. So we have basically all heaters. It's gonna get hot in here, but that's all right. Uh, so we have heaters, because heaters are like very power hungry machines here, uh, over, over a thousand watts each. And we have them all plugged into the back here. Now I've got them split, uh, so we have one on the circuit A, and then we have two on circuit B, uh, which is the this heater here and then the heater over there. So that one is on circuit B and then this one here is on circuit A. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this test for one full hour, just like we did with the Power Boost video. Um, if you wanna check that video out, feel free to do that. We did a video just like this with the Power Boost F-150, basically figured out how much fuel it uses, uh, fuel range it used, um, which was a pretty surprising number. Um, but we'll do this with the lighting here. Basically what we're gonna do, turn the system on right here, Currently we are at 361 kilometers of range. Uh, we're gonna run this test for an hour. We'll start it in four minutes at 1040. Uh, so we'll do this for one full hour. We'll figure out how much, how much range it use. Currently we're at 100% battery. Um, it's a little bit cold outside, so the, the truck has actually uh, sort of adjusted to the temperature. Uh, so we're at 361 kilometers of range. All right, so it is now 1040 right up there and uh, we have all of our outlets on. Pretty cool from the lightning, you can kind of separate it into three uh, sort of different segments here. So you have front, middle, which is like your cab uh, outlets, and then you have the bed. So you can kind of flick them on and off and you actually hear the uh, inverter system kick on. Uh, but what we'll do, we'll flip around back and we'll turn on all of our heaters. So we have 360 kilometers of range. So what we'll do basically is we'll take this, turn this on, max it out, turn on our sort of heater we have here, we'll max this out as well, set that to 90 degrees, and then we'll set our heater up here, max that out as well. Everything is going, definitely blowing heat, 
and then we'll run around to the front here and we'll get our heat gun going. This one, I might have to rig something up here. I don't want to burn the uh, plastic here, but... There we go, I think that should be all right. All right, so now we'll go into the F-150 here. We'll check our Pro Power onboard system. So currently we are using 1,430 watts in the front, and then A and B, 1,520 and 2,500, or just about under, just under 2,500. Uh, so we're at 360 kilometers range. Uh, so we'll run this for a little bit. We'll kind of see where it kind of goes to. Cool thing here, we can actually set the Pro Power Reserve. Uh, so it'll turn off the Pro Power onboard system when you get to a certain kilometer range. Currently it's at 120. Um, I don't think we're gonna get that low, but we'll, uh, we'll leave that where it is. All right, so we've been going for just under five minutes here. We're at 1046. So currently we're pulling about 5,500 watts in total. Uh, so we have about 4,000 with the sort of the ones in the bed and the front one is pulling uh, just under 1500 there. So we're around, around 5,500 watts in total, 358 kilometers of range. It just jumped down actually two kilometers. It was at 360, now it's at 358. Uh, so we're down about three kilometers, two or three kilometers of range in about six minutes, pulling 5,500 watts. And I even have the, uh, the air conditioning running right there. In fact, we'll crank on the heated seats here too. We'll do this as much as possible. Crank on the heated seats. We'll uh, maybe turn up the fan speed one more. Crank up the heat. Crank up to 27 degrees. There we go, and we'll pull a little bit more power out of this thing. And now what's cool about the Lightning is that you can actually use the Ford Pass app on your phone. So if we go into vehicle, and then we scroll down to features and settings, we have Pro Power on board. And then now we'll give you an exact overview of how much power uh, watts you're using. And actually it's like to the, to the single digit too on the truck it's only showing to the tenth digit but here we have like exact amount of power uh, how much we're using which is nice so it's a little bit more convenient if you're at a campsite or something you don't have to go to your truck to figure out how much power you're using uh, you can do it right from here right from your phone and we're currently at 99 percent with 353 kilometers of range which is exactly right so exactly what it says on the truck 99 percent 353 kilometers of range we've been running for about 15 minutes now we're at 10:55. all right so we just passed the halfway mark here we're at 1111, make a wish, and we do have 347 kilometers of range. Uh, so, comparing to the PowerBoost F-150, it's certainly using a little bit more. Uh, we start at 360 there, uh, so really, you know, about down 13 kilometers, which actually is comparable. I mean, we're not, we're about halfway through. The F-150 PowerBoost used uh, about 30 kilometers of range. Now, I guess that's sort of comparable to the the PowerBoost. Uh, we're pulling a little bit more power than we were with the PowerBoost F-150. That one we were kind of fluctuating between uh, three and 4,000. This one we're about 5,500. So we're definitely a little bit more power, uh, but I guess the range is a little bit similar to the, uh, the gas powered. And here we are. So we're closing in on our final couple minutes here on our sort of little ex science experiment. And we're currently at 335 kilometers of range. Again, we're pulling the exact same power as we were uh, an hour earlier about 5,500 watts. Uh, we're at, again, 335, oh, there we go, 334 kilometers of range. Again, we start at 360, uh, so we're down about 26 kilometers of range. So there you go, I hope we'll kind of give you an idea of maybe how much power or range this uh, Pro Power onboard system in the new Lightning will use. Again, this was a bit of an extreme example here, uh, where 5,500 watts is quite a lot, but I think this is a perfect, a perfect setup for maybe a camper, uh, you can run your air conditioner, your fridge, stove, all of that, and it probably wouldn't even be even close to 5,500 watts. Um, so this is a bit of an extreme example, uh, but I kind of hope this will kind of give you some insight on uh, how the system will use. I think the Pro Power onboard system uh, works flawlessly. This is a fantastic uh, sort of invention from Ford, and uh, I'm sure more automakers will use this sort of inverter system uh, because it really can come in handy. So there you have it. I hope this video was informative, maybe even a little bit entertaining. If you want to see more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.